Hi folks, this is Max from uh, GalaxyS3Root.com and GalaxyNote2Root.com. So here's a question I get very often uh, for the Galaxy S3. All the Galaxy S3s and all the Galaxy Note2s, um, these new phones, uh, I get these questions after rooting. After using the CW method, which is usually the method I recommend, uh, and rooting your phone, people ask me, can I update my phone? Uh, yes, you can update your phone. Um, of course, you can't just update it after rooting since you've installed Clock My Recovery. The simplest way is if you're still on a stock ROM, all you have to do is reinstall Stock Recovery back onto your phone using Odin. And then you, if you have see, uh, receive OTA updates, then you can update. And of course, you will lose root, uh, but rooting takes what? You you can update it and reinstall Clock My Recovery and then reroute it. Uh, very easy to do. And also, there's another way. If you're on a custom ROM, how can you unroot it? What you can do is, uh, hopefully, you made a backup of your stock ROM after you root it. I tell people to do this a thousand times, but some people don't do it. Uh, so if you didn't make a backup, then how do you update? Um, you can actually usually after the update comes out. Let's say the latest Jelly Bean 4.2 comes out tomorrow. If you usually wait like three days, there's a, sand, a firmware. For that update, you can download at samfirmware.com or samsungupdates.com, one of the two. And uh, usually, I do post it. Uh, if enough people request it, also on my site. Um, then you can use Odin uh, Unroot straight to the update. So that's another way to do it. Uh, if you're coming from a custom ROM and you don't have a backup of your stock ROM, and uh, the other way, wait, did I cover all the ways? Uh, the other way you can do it is unroot back to the previous version. Um, so let's say you know, let's say ICS. Uh, you can you know unroot to the previous ICS version on my site. I have unrooting for all the instructions, and then do a software update from there, and then you it's completely stock, so you'll be able to update. So those are different types of ways you can update after rooting. Uh, no matter what, you can recover your phone to totally stock on both the Galaxy S3 and the Galaxy Note 2. Uh, anyway, I just made this video kind of to explain um, that you can do updates uh, after rooting. So I hope this answers your questions. And if you have any questions, don't forget to leave in the comment section. I'll try my best to answer those. Um, and uh, that's about it, I guess. Anyway, thanks you guys for watching this video. If you like this video, don't forget to hit that like button here. Subscribe button up there and share this with your friends on Twitter, Facebook, or Google Plus. Or the next time your friends ask you, can you update after rooting? And also, one more note is that usually uh, those updates, the small updates, I don't even recommend them. Usually, last time Sprint updated their Galaxy S3, it was it was to actually remove a feature because you know Apple has you know um, sued them or whatever some stupid reasons like that. So. Uh, the only up updates I actually recommend are the major ones like going from 4.1.1 to 4.1.2, ICS to Jelly Bean. Those are great updates because it actually makes changes, but those other updates I would just ignore them. And there is also a way to disable the updates. Most custom ROMs do disable them. Um, so anyway, just an addition. Anyway, I hope this helped you and uh, see you all later and have a great day and stay high on Android. Yeah.